What's up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. I'm actually on my way to the flea market right now. I can already tell it's gonna be a hot day today, so hopefully we find some good stuff, so let's go. Five bucks, Baron 13s. I probably should have got another bag though for my bags for things. I have no idea what these are. pay up for these but I think what I paid was worth it my bag ripped my shoes were all over the ground so I had to come throw them in the back of my trunk <laughs> but uh, I'll show you guys what I got when I get home what's up guys welcome back to another flea market grab video so this video is gonna be real shoe heavy so if you're not into sneakers I apologize for this one <laughs> I did get one video game though so let me go ahead and show you guys what I did get for five bucks I got a copy of Super Smash Brothers Brawl on the Wii or so I thought it was. It actually turned out to be Mario Kart Wii, which I am actually happier because Mario Kart Wii does go for more. And my copy of Super Smash Bros. Brawl that I have on my Wii is a loose copy. It came in one of those like crappy GameStop cases, like the ones they make custom or whatever. So I went to the flea market yesterday and today, Saturday and Sunday. Yesterday was really bad. There was nobody there. Um, I really didn't find nothing. I did find one pair of shoes though. And that one pair are these Nike Free 4.0 Flyknits, which these look like they're barely worn. As you can see, um, the bottoms are a little bit dirty, but they're white bottoms. So of course, super clean on the inside, size 11 and a half. I actually ended up picking these up for $10. Um, and they are actually sold overnight on eBay, so. Um, happy that I picked these up, but that was literally the only thing that I found yesterday 
Um, I'm going to show you guys what I got today and you're going to see what the difference between Saturday and Sunday is. So moving on to today, these first two that I actually picked up, I got two for 35. The first pair is the Sport Blue Jordan 6s. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to have to get that off. But these are a size nine and a half. So most likely I'm going to end up keeping these. Um, it all depends on how good they clean up. They do have a little bit of scratching, but a little bit of white paint should fix that right up. Um, right there on the back as well, a little scuffing. These are a size nine and a half. Sixes run big, sixes and sevens. So I wear like a nine and a half, maybe even a nine and sixes. So these, um, I'll probably end up keeping these, honestly, depending on how well they clean up, like I said. Here's the other one. Um, again, just some scuffing and stuff. So, so I'm gonna see if I can get that off. But for $25, I'll take these all day. And then for $10, I've never seen this model, so I don't know what these are, honestly, but as clean as they are, and for only 10 bucks, I went in and grabbed them. And it's this Ultra Boost right here. Uh, maybe you guys can let me know like what kind of model this is of the Ultra Boost. Like I said, I don't know. Um, it's like an all gray, three stripes, and it has like lavender laces. And then on the inside, you have the lavender um, sole, insole. So I don't know. Like maybe you guys can let me know. Maybe this is like a girl's ultra boost or something. Um, it says energize stability right there. So yeah, maybe you guys can let me know. It says it's a size 10. But them being as clean as they are, I just went ahead and grabbed them for 10 bucks. Moving on for only $7, we got a little tiny baby version of the eggplant foam posits. And again, these are super clean. As you can tell from the bottom, like they were barely worn. Here's the other one. These are a size 6C. So I might hold on to these because my cousin did just have a baby about two weeks ago. So I might hold on to these until he gets a little bit bigger to where he can wear them, but I don't know yet. But I went ahead and grabbed those for seven bucks. Next up, I got two pairs of 13s. Both of them I got for only $5 each, which is why I grabbed them. Now they are a little beat, but I mean, for five bucks, you can't really go wrong. Uh, the first one are the Cherry 13s right here. These are the 2010 versions, uh, and these are a size 5 wide. Pretty dirty, uh, you could probably tell from the video. And then they do have like scratches on the toe box, but it's not too bad, I guess. Here's the other one. Like I said, size 5Y, but you can't really go wrong for only five bucks, I guess. And then again, for only $5, I picked up the Baron 13s. I'm not a big fan of the shoe personally, but I know people are. How it has like this oil looking um, patent leather on the side. As you can tell, pretty dirty, uh, a little bit of drag. These look like somebody was like grinding rails or something in them, I don't know. These are a size eight, but like I said, these were only five bucks, so there was no way I was gonna leave them for only five dollars. The pods are pretty yellowed on the bottom as well. Here's the other one. This one is a little worse. Uh, it has a little separation right here on the toe, but other than that, uh, they're both in the same condition. So for five dollars, I went ahead and grabbed these. And then this next shoe, I actually did have to pay up a little bit. I ended up spending $50 on these shoes which I was gonna try to talk the girl down, but we were actually talking and stuff and she actually turned out to be really cool. So I was like, you know, I'll just give her the $50. Um, and that is the Bordeaux Sevens. This is the 2015 release. And these actually look to be like near dead stock. I mean, the bottoms are a little bit dirty, um, but on the inside, you still have the Nike Air. These are a size 10 and a half. So like I was saying earlier with the sixes and sevens, they run like a whole size big. So most likely I'm not gonna be keeping these even though I do wear a size 10. I would need like a nine and a half or maybe even a nine in these sevens. And $50 is a little more than I like spending at the flea market, but you know, I thought these were worth it. So in all, I spent about $110 for all seven shoes and the one game that I ended up picking up. But me personally, I think it was worth it for what I got. Let me know down in the comments if you think I overspent, um, but like I said, I don't think I did. So that's everything I picked up from the flea market this weekend, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe down below, and drop a comment. And I will see you guys next week with another one. So, later.